Hey everybody, Skid Row Trash here, and this is Rack Exoverse by Final Boss Entertainment. This came out March 6, 2018, and it's in early access. It's around $12 or so on sale right now, normally around $18, $17, Anyways, they sent me a copy of this to check out. I've, uh, I've been pretty busy over the Christmas holidays and stuff, but I have tried it here and there. I probably have an hour and a half on it, maybe two hours. And, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, there's things I like and there's things that I don't like. But, let's just get into it here and I'll show you some of it. I absolutely love this whole menu, this whole presentation, everything is really nice with this comic style. Even the text is like, like a comic book, it's really cool. I mean, it's nice and sharp looking, colorful and nice. So we have a couple of different characters here. I have, uh, Kane, he's my guy that I like to use because he's got a sword. There's Vance. The thing with Vance is he's only got guns, and I haven't done it yet, but I feel like if I miss enough shots in a level, that I'll be I'll lose the level, I won't have any ammo, because you have limited ammunition, so I really don't like playing as that sharpshooter guy at all. Plus, they take too many shots, some of these guys. Nebula Omnis, purchase your supplies. So this is a nice little area, this little hub where you can go to the various shops. Different shops open up throughout the game. I imagine all these other shops will open. Because uh, originally I only had two and a third one opened. So that's kind of neat. This one has um, random gifts or random things you can buy that you don't know what they are until you get them. This one here, this has, uh, I hate this auto map. I'll show you the auto map. I'll get it. Pistol, let's just leave that. We're gonna go here to the tower, because this is a tower defense game. Tower defense with FPS, with roguelite, apparently roguelite. All sort of mixed together. So I have the scatter shot. Um, now one issue I find is that even if I buy these towers, and I come back in here, I have to rebuy all the towers again. It seems kind of strange, like I thought I would be able to keep them between games or something. It's supposed to be a roguelite. Now, I paid uh, $500. One thing it doesn't tell you is that if you spend all your money right there, you're going to be fucking screwed in the game. Because look right here, $500. So if I would have spent all my money back in that thing, I would be in here uh, fighting against enemies without a single tower. It would just be me. I mean, th that's one of the things that kind of sucks. It doesn't give you enough information on things like that. So they're going to come through here. This is their path. They're going to go down there. And I bought that map up in the upper right. You see it there? It's kind of nice how it shows me the grid like this. But, I mean, I wish I had a button I could push to get the actual grid to show up on the floor like this. So I can actually see where I'm putting stuff. I hate looking at that map. Really hate that map. Anyways, let's put down two of those. Because these things are expensive. Now, this is a shotgun one. It can only shoot one square. So we're just going to have it aiming here. And you're going to aim this way because you're just going to shoot right there, like that. So we're going to press G. We're going to start the first wave. Now I have to pretty much kill everybody with my sword because I don't have any towers, really. They're just going to kill me if I don't. And, you know, it says it's roguelite with ever-changing levels, but I mean... I, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like that's true because... I swear I've played all these levels. This level looks a little different for once, but I mean... All the other times I played, it seemed like it was just doing the exact same levels over and over again. So it doesn't seem like they change enough. And the troops, I don't know if they change or not, because they all look so exactly the same when they're coming in. We can do some cool shit. Watch this. They hit their shots back at them. It's cool as hell. I like doing that. But anyways, it's got a nice look to it. It's this nice sort of shell-shaded... Shell... Cell-shaded shell kind of look. Sort of like... Borderlands or something. Very nice and colorful. The outlines aren't too um, too much in the way or anything. An item has spawned. Sometimes an item will spawn between rounds. A bag of gold. Finally, I have money. All right, wave complete. There we go. I've completed the second wave. Not so bad. I love that little comic book looking screen there. It's so cool. Now we're back to this. Now wherever you put this stuff, their path is going to change because suddenly they can't go that way, right? So, it's going to change up their um, their attack way and everything. Let's just put some more of these on here. We'll shoot them up as they come by. We'll sort of make them go through a certain path here so they're forced certain ways. I can't put this beside this stupid teleporter. It's kind of annoying. 
Put one more here. I don't know, I'll put another one here, I guess. Whatever. Whoops. Here comes the next wave. Here they come. Let's see, can I hit this guy from behind here? I'm gonna try that, let's see. Oh my god, I hit him from behind there! <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see if these little raptors or whatever they are get killed. Yeah, they're not going to make it through. Are they? Jeez, they almost made it through. Yeah, the enemies don't seem to be the smartest. They'll kind of just run. You get to some enemies later that will follow you a bit. But, I mean, it's kind of um, to their own disadvantage that they're following you because... You can run around in circles and have them go through the uh, the gun sections multiple times. So it's kind of dumb, those guys. <laughs> They're these big guys with shields on them. You can totally use their stupidity to kill them. So I've got a level 1 max there. It gives me a special attack. It's alright. Each round has... Uh, each of these things has five waves. And you have uh, three build sections. There's the initial one, there's the one after two waves, and the one after four waves. Just let those little guys go. They'll get shot up by the guns. Those guys, too. And do a special attack against this guy. Take that, you dick. These guys are following me a little bit attacking. I have two and a half hearts, something like that. I'm gonna hit this guy's weapon with a shot right back in his face. Take that, you dick! Oh, it didn't even work. That one did, though. Prepare your defenses! Now, eventually, you get to a point where you have multiple portals and multiple guys coming through. It gets a little bit insane. But this is the very first one. This is going to be quite easy. This will just shred them as they come by. And that's fine with me. Come on through, everybody! <laughs> My guns are all eager to shoot them. Look at them. They're getting antsy. They want to get their shots off. I don't think they're going to get a chance. These guys are totally screwed there. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Oh, come on! Really? I guess that's what I get for trying to be all fancy. Here I am in the first level again. It is different. It is a little different. It's it's just so hard to even know because everything... It doesn't switch up the, uh, the visual style of the level, so... It often feels very much the same. Oh, and I can't even put down a single thing this time because I have no money. So that sucks. Here we go. Oh, and I got, I got two guns this time. Which sounds good, but you're gonna run out of ammo for them, so... And they don't really do as many... They don't... It takes too many shots. Like, look at this. See, what the fuck is that? Look at this. I'm almost out of ammo again. Look at this. So we have another level. Oh, we're back to this one again. I mean, like, see, this one here is just the same one that I was on before, but opposite. The thing is here now, and it goes there. There's really not enough variety in the um, level level uh, design or whatever. It's always the same, or at least it appears to always be the same. Oh, I don't have enough for any turrets, of course. So we're swinging swords again and shooting up our, our gun here. What's this? Multi-target damage. Huh. Oh, you replaced my fucking sword? That's not good. Yeah, no, we're, we're switching back. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Look at this. God damn it. So I don't think tower defense are supposed to be like this, you know. This does not seem like a typical tower defense game right here. <laughs> Giving you no towers. My shield's almost fucking dead. Oh, he, these guys are coming now. That's nice. Dicks. Get out of here. Fuck off. 
You guys are getting shot in the face. Wave complete. Next wave. Have fun fighting them off with your sword. This is a nice sword, though. I really like that sword. It's so cool looking with the uh, those little cubes for the hilt. That's so cool. I like the sword. I like a lot of the visual stuff in this game. It all looks decent, you know? Has a nice look to it. Okay, I'm on the second level here. Made it through that one, finally. Now I'm at the point where there can be multiple paths. So this one's open. The purple doesn't, it means it's not open yet, but it will open on one of these waves. Just don't know which one yet. And you don't get a chance to go and buy new things between these rounds, so I just have to do with whatever I brought with me here, which is these shotgun things and a sword. <laughs> Enemies will be stronger, there'll be more of them. Oh, uh, different ones, some different ones. That guy with the shield is probably gonna show up here. Here comes the next wave. I'm just gonna try shooting at this wave and we'll see if I can stop them with guns. This guy, I'm gonna use my super shot right in the beginning, right in his face. Almost killed him. Guns are like so useless in this game. They're so terrible. I don't know how you can even play as the classes that only have guns because if you don't have a melee weapon, you are fucked. I'm actually doing okay here. There we go. See, like, right now, I wish I could actually, like, press a button and have a grid show up. Because, I mean, I, it's, for some reason, I just find it hard to look at this and sort of know what the hell is supposed to be happening. It's hard, it's very hard to set up a nice path for them to come through if I only have first-person view, view. Like, a top-down view would be nice, or just a pop-up grid that I could put on and off. That would be nice. I would at least be able to figure out what I'm doing, kind of. Are they going around the back here? No, okay. So, let's start up the next round. Had my ammo replenished. That's nice. I'm down to still just one hit, though. So I gotta play careful. Got guys coming from both here. Yeah, here they come. Oh, yeah, that's nice, assholes. Just blowing up, guys! For fuck's sake. They're ruining my path! You guys better not go around the side now. Assholes. I don't want to get too close so these fucking guys will shoot me. Hey, there's a heart. I better go get that. There's one of those shield fellas I was talking about. These guys are a little bit on the tough side. They'll follow you. But they're kind of dumb like that. They'll follow you around in circles if you run circles around here and like just go... If you just run around these, they'll just keep following you, getting shot with the shotguns. Which is, you know, it's okay, I guess, for me. Not so good for them. Oh no you don't. There, we got him. So, take the fight to them! Jump through the portal. Space Jam? I've never seen this one yet. Normally it's this thing called Jigorno, which is an impossibly hard boss that is impossible for some reason. Or at least it seems that way. This one almost looks like we're going to be dealing with flying guys, which I have no... Um, no towers for that, so that'll be uh, interesting. So is it, what is this, a boss? Do I have to fight a boss? It looks like he's this thing. Whatever it is, it's stuck inside there. Let's just put this here and do this, and let's just see what he does. It's this blob. Bring on the pain. Oh my god, this boss is so much easier than those other bosses. Oh wait, there's two of them. 
What the fuck? What the fuck? What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, so this is a little different. This boss is kind of neat. Each time they split, they seem to have less hit points total, so that's cool. Holy fuck, I actually beat a boss! That other boss, Gigorno or Gigorno or whatever, it's freaking impossible. This wasn't so bad, though. Oh, I didn't even know it would switch bosses, to be honest. This is the first time in, like, five... This is the fifth time I made it to that boss. Like, the boss battle. And this is the first time it's not been the same boss, so... I thought it was by, um... Like, you had to fight specific bosses. Anyways, we're back here now. Back at the purchase area. Let's go see if there's more towers available. Pulse turret 2. You can still only get one turret. I have all these extra buttons. I don't know what they do. It's kind of, I don't know, I just kind of wish there was a, it was a bit different, I don't know, this, there's just something about this that just doesn't do it for me. I can't figure out exactly what it is. Oh no, I want my Brave Star. I wasted my money on that. Fuck. What do we got in here? Mysterious items. Buy one. What is it? Receive the rotisserie chicken. Oh. I'm guessing, what is that, health? A health thing? Rainforest one. I've never even seen this. That's cool. This is what I wanted. It was different styles of levels, like the different uh, themes. That's a, it just I don't know. It seems a little repetitive being on that first one all the time. It'd be nice if they changed the order that they came in, or something like that. I don't know if that's possible, or at least more variety in their uh, their setup. So I have no towers available because I'm broke again. Oh, you kamikaze guys, you're kind of useless in this when I have no towers, aren't you? Look at this guy. It's a super tough guy. He probably launches a mortar on his back or something. I like that music. Nice music. Beacon under attack. Yeah, I don't know, this game is just, I don't know, it's just something about it that I don't like. I wish I did, though. I just wish it was a little different. Anyways, it's early access, so things can change, and hopefully they become better. I just, um, I don't know about this game. I would probably say... I wouldn't recommend it, but I also wouldn't not recommend it. I would probably say maybe keep an eye on it. And when it comes time for release, maybe see what people are saying and see if they um, they have things to say about it that are good and stuff. I mean, this it's okay. It's just not where I kind of wish it was in terms of development. And I kind of wish there was a little bit more to it. Feels like certain things are missing. But anyways, that's a bit of Rack Exoverse. Check it out if you want. It's on Steam. And I'm just hoping that uh, it becomes decent when it's uh, finished, so, yeah. Anyways, that's a bit of that, so, um, yeah, we'll say see you later for now. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you later.